Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. So if you follow me on Twitter, you know that um, I had a little bit of a surprise for you guys. And you guys know that in the last part I told you we were going to definitely be moving towns. Um, I spent almost an entire 24 hours working on this, so I hope everyone is pleased. Because um, I just made a big freaking circle guess where we are. If you guessed Isla Paradiso, you were freaking correct because this is our new home. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Um, I, uh, I just decided to give it another chance. I'm getting a new computer. If not in a couple of days, then in the next week. So if I can just hold it together for at least that long, then I think I'll be okay. So... Yes! Um, I went ahead and moved in Rain, and she gave us, like, uh, I don't know, 60,000 simoleons, so I was just like, screw it, we'll move in here. I don't know why we have 70. I swear I didn't cheat at all. Um, I just, I don't understand. I don't get it. Oh, well, we had some before. Never mind. Okay. So, um, I gave everyone makeovers. I just very slightly renovated the house. Not very, not very much. Yeah, our house is very modern, which is different, but it's, you know, it's it's by the beach, so yeah, we good. But anyways, um, all right, let me show you the makeovers. Here is Hassan. Hassan, Hassan. I uh, got rid of them, them tiny little eyeballs. You can actually see his eyes now. And I got rid of his disgustingly bear-like body hair because it was disgusting and it made me want to puke. And then here is Rain. Hers took a lot of work, because you know how when you see a sim and you think they're okay looking, and then you take them into create a sim and you're like, oh lord, and they're not cute. Well, that's what happened with her. She was not cute. So I just gave her a whole bam. And, um, yeah, and I, I gave her, like, all Island Paradise clothes, because, I mean, they just kind of fit with her, you know, little mermaid skins. And then I didn't give Raya, or Raya, whatever, a makeover, because just, you know, She's a baby. She, she don't need a makeover. And then we got our puppies, and that's it. So let me show you the house real quick. You walk in from way over, I don't even know, right here, I guess. And um, you have this ball-in living room, ball-in kitchen. This is a bit of a step up for them. Um, they have rain to thank for that. But then um, bathroom, dining room, blah, blah, blah. And then you come out here, and this is just adorable. Um, yas, and then uh, there's a tread treadmill in here, but I put it out here for, um, Paige, because she is athletic. And then you go upstairs over here. I'll show you what that is in just a second. Shush, phone, my phone has been going off all day. I don't know what it's ringing for. I don't have any notifications. I don't know. And then you come up here, and this is one bedroom. I'll have to decide whose bedroom is whose. I really, I could care less. So there's this one. It's got a computer. Got this very red theme, which is very modern, as it says. And you've got a little balcony chair. Excellent. Then you go to the third floor, another balcony chair, and another slightly smaller bedroom, but still very, very nice. And they have a bathroom up here, which I just noticed. And so then, if you're on the second floor, you have this door here that goes out to the separate little side of the house here. And originally, it was kind of like an entertainment room where it had, like, just, you know, things to entertain you with, basically. And I changed it into a kid-slash-baby room because we all know that Lacey is pregnant. And she did get her baby bump, but she's wearing that weird, like, bathing suit thing, and you can't see it. So I'll have to change her, uh, I'll have to change her outfit because it's, it's glitched, but whatever. Not a big deal. But that's the baby room, or kid room, whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's pretty basic. This is a TV. Never used it, but I found it. And I was like, well, that's adorable. So yeah, here we are. Yay, bros. <laughs> so everyone needs to get a job or a hobby or something to do. But uh, basically the story was that I had found a couple different worlds that I liked and I tried them out and they weren't as great as I thought. So I found one, it was so awesome, but it didn't have any scuba diving, and I was like, 
Ah, oh, that's one of my favorite parts. So I I couldn't just not have it. Oh, I need um dog stuff. Oh, glad I thought of it. Oh, I always forget to buy these things. I'm a bad person. Uh, where are we gonna put it though? <laughs> We've two dogs, so hmm, let's see. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit cluttered here. We'll put it over here. We'll put two doggy bowls here. Space them out a little. And then actually, never mind. <laughs> And then we'll put a ball, like, right here. And then a dog toy thingy right there. And then we'll put... I guess we don't need doggy beds. But, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice gesture. I don't know if we can even fit them anywhere, to be honest. We might, we might not be able to have dog beds. Um, not, yeah, it's gonna be a little, a little crowded in here. Yeah, I think we'll just hold off on these. Okay, no, no, we're not, we're not doing it. All right. So we got the dog food. That's basically like all you need. You need, you know, keyword need. But it, you know, it can still be kind of boring. So I'm gonna have her go fill these up. And then let's get this going. Oh, and her traits, by the way. She had one trait. Uh, she had the evil trait, right? I think you guys saw that with me. And someone was kind enough to tell me that if a mermaid has an evil trait, they will give you, like, evil kelp of some sort, and it will, like, mess you up or kill you or something. So I was like, thank you for telling me. I don't want that to happen. So I just changed it. And she loves to swim. She's neurotic. She's flirty. She's a coward. And she is an angler. So, sweet. And then, I think we looked at everything else, yeah. Okay. And it took a lot of, like, mods and all sorts of stuff to get here. Because, um... It was, like... Because her baby bump came, like, right... Like, two seconds before I could call anyone to, uh, move. Or call the real estate to move. Here, let me change into something, uh... I guess her outerwear... Maybe that'll show us? I don't know. See, she's like, what is she doing? She's so glitched. There we go. Um, can't, still can't see the baby bump like crazy, but you know, whatever. Okay, I just have to like get everything prepared. I don't have story progression on, but I just want like none. I don't want any stories at all. There we go. Oh yeah. All right. Dun, dun, dun. All right. What are we gonna do? So let's see. Um, I changed his lifetime wish. I know I changed just so much stuff, but I changed it because he wanted. He wanted five kids or whatever, but this isn't a generations LP, so this that's not gonna happen. They're gonna have like one, maybe two. So um. I changed it to he wants to be the leader of the free world. Cause look at his trait, like. Look at his traits, I mean. He, he's like, he's born for that. Like, he just has, like, all of the necessary qualities for that job. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So, where is that? That's not the city hall, right? Right, right? Let me see. Uh, political career. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't, oh, I didn't want to do that. Whatever. Um... Join political career. Okay, and you should still be a lifeguard. Hallelujah. Okay, so start working when, I guess, tomorrow. All right, now everyone else needs a job. Now she can finally get a job. Now she says she wants to join the business career. I don't see her as a business, a business kind of person. I have always seen her as a teacher ever since she wanted to be a teacher. That just seems like the perfect thing. So, um... Oh, of course, we can't do it right now, because she's pregnant. Duh, I didn't even think about that. Um, what about Rain? Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay. She wants to become a creature robot crossbreeder, so that is a level 9 in the science career track. So, uh, um, yas. Oh, wait, that's not science. That's the hospital. Where's the science building? Oh, Lord have mercy. Now I have to search for things. No. Ah. Oh, I have no idea. I'm stumped. Wait, what am I looking for? Science? Okay. I have to, I have to remember what that looks like. Um, 
Let me see. Let me see. There it is. Oh, it's hidden over here. Um, okay. Science. And then you, little missy, are just a child enjoying your childhood days. What is this? Scan. What? Why would we, why would we do that? Okay. Yes, we will accept your job. Now I have a question for you guys. Since we are back here in Isla Paradiso, would you guys want to pick up the... Um, oh my god, I just totally... Brain fart. Tot like, pick up the... Um, Jesus Christ. The um, freaking A. The resort. There we go. Holy moly. Would you guys want to start doing that again. Her fixing up a resort and all this, all that jazz and blah, 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 blah. Cause we can do that. Oh, she wants to read a pregnancy book. I say, hells yeah. And I'm extremely picky when it comes to uh, the babies. And I know this isn't in Generations LP and it really doesn't matter, but it matters to me. So I'm going to go have her go to the store and get some watermelon cause I want her to have a little girl because I do. Um, where's the grocery store? I saw it earlier. That's the spa in the diner. There it is over there. I see you, sneaky thing. All right, go shop for groceries. She has vegetables in here. Oh, she has diamonds. No, she has diamonds up in here. Oh, yeah, we need to go cut those up. Oh, Paige, she got a promotion for <laughs> um, getting another point in her athletic skill. Okay, cool. Finally. Poor thing hasn't been able to get promoted because no one ever drowned there. At least here I know the water's not glitched. Uh, but okay. So hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is she going? Oh, she's swimming there? I guess. I mean... That's what mermaids do. Look at her go. How effing majestic. How majestic. That's beautiful. What is this? Drying up. It's too hot. Excessive warmth makes mermaid skin dry and brittle. Oh! Guys! I've never had a mermaid before, so bear with me. I didn't even know that this was different. Hydration. Oh, hold on. Let me let me read. I want to read. Mermaid skin dries out easily and requires constant hydration to stay soft and supple. Frequent baths, showers, and dips in the pool or ocean are a must. Oh. Well, I didn't know that. What an interesting fact. Okay. We are gonna buy watermelon so she can have a little girl. We're gonna buy three. Anything else we wanna get here? Cause we have like so much money. I don't even know what to do with it. Mosquito repellent. That's awesome. I've never used it, but it's awesome. What's a wonder petal? Let's get one. I really don't know what that is. Um. Ooh, lobster. You guys know I've never had lobster before, but I'm like dying to. Because it looks like it would be delicious. <laughs> oh my god. It looks so good. Ugh. Okay, let's get some bubble bath for, uh... Lacey. Actually, is the bookstore right there too? Or is it something else? Because if it's the bookstore, I'm going to have her go ahead and get a pregnancy book. No, it's the diner. Damn it. Alright, fine. We will go to the bookstore. See, now here... <laughs> We have tons of stuff to do. We're not stuck like last time. There's a bunch of resorts and there's a bunch of like pools and blah, 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 blah. And yeah, okay. This one's awesome over here. I remember that. I remember. I remember you. All right, let's go to the bookstore and shop for books. <sighs> I was telling you guys, I work so hard. There we go. Accept career. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, what does she need for her career? She needs gardening, and what do you need for yours? Charisma. Well, then, you, 
Okay, you are already there. Look at him. Good for you. Whose car are you in? Oh, you were in someone's car. Oh, I see, I see. Do we have a car? Where did he get that car? I have a treadmill for Paige down here, and she uses the TV. Like, come on. Come on now. What is this? Uh, reach level five. Yes, I'm so excited. Handing a skill, sure. Are they dating? They are dating, right? Yes, they are dating. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and she wants to read a book about handiness. That's fine. Oh, good lord. Just go to the bookstore. Nope. Flirt. You can flirt with your bae. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Interrupted me. Alright, let's see. Childhood development. No, 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 no. It's in skill, right? Watch. I'm so wrong. This isn't right. This isn't right. Um... Uh, I don't know. I'll just like for it here. God, there's so many books. Okay. We just have to look. Because I really don't know what it's under. It's not childhood development, is it? No, it's not. So you would think it would be, but it's not. You see what I mean? Maybe it's a general. Huh. Just looking for a pregnancy book. These are really hard to find. There is one. Got it. I got you. Alright, cool. Now... I don't think she can actually go scuba diving until she is not pregnant anymore, which is kind of sad because I'm like, oh, we're, we're here and we're ready to go and it's so sad. Look at our little puppies. Are they playing? They're playing with each other. <laughs> I love them. Look at them. That's the puppies. That's the puppies. <laughs> I am such a dog person. It's embarrassing. Um, when I was on vacation, or not vacation. <laughs> when I was out of town this weekend, um, there were so many dogs where I went. And I was in, like, dog heaven. It was beautiful. Um, okay, so who, like, whose bedroom is going to be whose? Um, we can have... Well, I mean, they get their own bathroom up here as well, right? Yeah. I guess we can have Paige and uh, Rain be up here at the very top. So let's... Can we set the bed ownership for two people or just one? Okay, just one. And then you... Also... Okay, what? No. Jesus Christ, whatever. And then um, go down here and set this one for Lucy. And then your bed is gonna be, whoopsies, gonna be right here. There you go, girl. You got this. You got this. And I put everything as like blue in here. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a boy. As you can see, I'm trying to go for a girl. So definitely a random thing. I'm gonna go have her eat one of them. And then I'm gonna have her go get all these cut. Because, uh, I mean, it's not like we're, you know, it's not like we need money or anything, but. I mean, sure it helps, I'm guessing. Alright, what is this? Wonder Petal. I'm gonna have to use some of that later. Eat another one. Okay, and let's go, hold on, let me see if I can do this correctly for once in my life. Um, okay, that's just like a half bath. So, her, wait, where is her room? Here? So, did you already bathe? Yes, you did. So, can I put that there? And then, yeah, bubble bath. Woo! So, if I take that away, can I still, okay, 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 okay. 
Because I remember in The Sims 2, you could always take a bath or a bubble bath. I think that was in The Sims 2 or maybe an earlier version of The Sims 3. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm keeping that there for a day where she's feeling a little sore. Because I know that when you're pregnant on The Sims, maybe in real life, I don't know, that you get a little sore on the sore side. Alrighty, I am just so freaking thrilled. Look at the dog outside, just like rolling around. That's like so typical. I'm gonna have you go make some salad for the family. I need to change Lacey's freaking everyday wear. It is that weird bathing suit thing. Like, that is not appropriate. Not appropriate. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna have her read this. I'm gonna have her eat that watermelon after she is done. So she doesn't get too, too full. So I think I can make them sick that way. But, yeah, I am going to wrap this part up here. And, you know, things will start, you know, getting a little more active tomorrow. Because people will start going to work and we'll start working on skills and all that jazz. So, I hope you guys are happy with my decision. And I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.